Get those SWAT men down here fast. Yeah, with the electric stun gun. Check 507. Yeah, this is Randall. Here it is. The man's some kind of a terrorist. He's holding the people at the Mill Run nuclear power plant hostage until state prison releases a group of convicts on his list. Whole thing's been hushed up till now, but the police are starting to cordon off the area. And I think he may have some kind of explosive device. Yeah, I'm aware of what happens if he blows it. And you're close enough to hear about it, too. I'll call you back when I get some more details.
okay today? Sure, fine. I don't know how you can do your homework with all this rock music and still get good grades. Yeah, it helps me relax, helps me work. Oh, I got a letter from your folks today. Your dad's special project will be finished in five weeks. Then you're to go home. You know I like having you here, Jonathan, but at my age, I also like a little peace and quiet. Oh, sure, fine, just ask. I took my laser disc player back to the video store today, and they wanted to charge me $175 to fix it. I told them to forget it. You know, that's almost as much as I paid for it. Mm. Yeah. Well, why don't you let me take a look at it? Well, I've got nothing to lose. Hey, Felix. Hmm, let's see what this is. Here we go. This is good, Felix. You'll like this. Warning, high voltage. Removal of cover exposes hazardous voltages. I gotta use that.
Felix. Something wrong? Yeah, it's Felix. I think I killed him. Why'd you do that? Was it an experiment? Yeah, sort of, but it wasn't supposed to happen that way. You're a dangerous man to know. Just what are you cooking up in your lab? A new death rate. I want to rule this block. All right. Let's stop at the corner. My parents don't think they're running our house, okay? Look, Michelle, this really isn't funny. I killed Felix with the laser beam from my granddad's <laughs> video player. Look, would you stop laughing? We got to get rid of Felix before my grandfather comes home from his office. He's not going to think this is funny. All right. Maybe you've discovered something. Think you can use that laser ray for anything? Mm, you may be right. If I leave the amplifier alone and just take the laser beam and the circuits out, hmm. You know any good assistance? I'm beat. Got your fast film and high-speed lenses? Yeah. Good. This place is dark and it's going to be a bitch to shoot. What exactly are we covering tonight? I don't know. But I think it's something that's really going to make the story. Really make the story? And you don't know? How do you rate those bylines? Talent. Pure talent. And modest, too. Hey, look, all I know is what I've been told. The last guy who went poking around out there didn't come back. And do the cops know about this? No. Well, isn't it your duty to tell them? No. My job is to get the story. That's all. driving over two hours. Coulter's farm. Coulter's farm? Are you kidding? That's where they found those mass graves last year. No, I'm not kidding. If you're scared, stay here in the car and lock yourself in. I'll let you know if there's anything to shoot. Unless they shoot you first.
What's your name, anyway? Shelly. Shelly Godwin. Mine's Randall. Randall what? Morgan Randall. Oh. Hey, let me in there. No, no, that's okay. Oh, no, come on. Let me, let me do it. If you insist. Mm-hmm. By the way, thank you. Oh, that's all right. No, no, I, I mean it. I really appreciate what you did for me. You look like a guy who has a pretty interesting story if a person wanted to cry. Don't. You gonna be going to work pretty soon? Yeah. You need me to ride in the town? Sure. But I was looking for something a little more uh, inconspicuous. What for? What for? What do you mean, what for? What the hell are you? One of these uh, gun control people? The hell I am. Getting so a man can't even buy a gun these days without the damn do gooders and bleeding hearts jumping all over him. That's true, but I gotta look out for myself. I know it. I know you do. But a man's got a right to protect himself, don't he? He's got a right to protect his home. Not anymore, he doesn't. Not with all these liberals all over the place infiltrating the government. It ain't safe to walk the streets at night. Now it ain't safe to stay home. It's disgusting. That's what it is. It's disgusting. Now, if a man had something like this. You know, this is more like it. You do a lot of hunting, do you? I've uh, been involved in a lot of hunting. You got shells for this thing? All you want? Good. I'll take it. Have you known Miss Godwin long, Mr. Randall? Well, not very long, no. She seems like a very nice young woman. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she is. I have a few rooms available. Why don't we take a look? Okay. Here we are. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Nice. This is a very nice little town. Yeah. I've lived here all my life. Sometimes seems it hasn't changed in all that time. Very peaceful here, Mr. Randall, if you appreciate that sort of thing. Yeah, I certainly do. This room is fine, Mrs. Levis. That'll be $45 a week. 60 if you want dinner. Hello? Oh, hi. How you doing? Oh, that's good. Glad to hear it. Yeah, yeah, that is a nice place. Look, I think that we better get something straight right away. I'm really glad that I helped you out, and I'm really glad that you're feeling better, and you seem like a really nice guy. But I just don't want to get involved with anybody right now, okay? Yeah, I know this time it's only a date, but I just... Well, I'd rather not, okay? Well, well, my loss, I guess. No, no, I'm not mad you called. <laughs> you wanted to see what? Oh, you're crazy. Yeah, when I was a kid. You know, but 
Well, it sounds like it would be fun. Yes. Well, look, why don't I meet you there? Uh, give me about an hour. Okay? Good. doing, Jonathan? I don't mind donating my video player to science, but I'd hate to see you get hurt with it. No, I won't get hurt. This is really great. You see, the voltage is multiplied here and produces the laser beam in this part of the circuit. It's this fabulous optical unit which can be adjusted to focus the beam for the proper target distance. In this case, the video disc is the target. Well, I'm happy you're so enthused about it. Look, I'll be leaving for my office in a few minutes, so I'll see you later. And please, don't burn the house down. <laughs> I promise. some target practice in the garbage cans that I missed. I heard somebody scream. You shot one of them. How badly? I don't know. Maybe you just burned him a little. You had me worried. One murder was enough. Are you sure you know what you're doing with this experiment? Everything's okay. All I had to do was put a new optical system in. Now I can focus over long distances. Did you bring your family's video player over? Yeah, but I feel like a thief. They won't miss it. All right. Look, after what's happened tonight, you can see there's a good use for this device.
Are you all right? Do you need help? No. Just need some rest. I'm a doctor. Come with me. Take a seat. Are you from this area? No. Centerfield. Oh, quite a ways from home, eh? My name is Dr. Carstairs. What's your name? Morgan Randall. Guess you had a pretty good night out on the town last night, eh? No. But I could use a drink now. You got any? Sure. Just what the doctor ordered. Coffee. Cream or sugar? Nothing, thanks. Well, I take both. Don't like it too strong. Well, I sometimes come back to my office at night to do some paperwork when it's quiet. But nothing too important tonight. Want to talk about anything? I've got plenty of time. Look, I'm grateful for your help, but... Uh... Are you in any kind of trouble? Want me to call the police? No. No. Then can I be of any help? It's a crazy world we live in. There's a lot of strange people around out there. I started in on this story about three months ago. Captain Kruger? Shelley, thanks for coming. Yeah. What's happened? Mrs. Levitt said you knew a man staying here by the name of Morgan Randall. Yeah, that's right. But uh, we only met this morning. Do you know anything about him at all? Not too much. Uh, it's kind of strange. He was um, hitching a ride into town, and the car almost ran him over, so I stopped to help him out. He was in pretty bad shape, but it wasn't from the accident, so I cleaned him up a little bit, and that's that. Except for a movie this evening. That's it? Yeah, just about. What's this all about? Come on upstairs. I want you to see something. Shelly! Talk to Kapek. Tell her. Oh. I don't offer any explanation for it. All I can do is tell you what I see. This man has been dead for a good two years. I don't understand. Welcome to the club. Uh, I feel much better after the coffee clean up and just having somebody to talk to. What you have to say is fantastic, but I can see why you can't go to the police with that kind of tale. Exactly. I'll get you something to eat and you'll stay with us tonight. I'm not so sure that your story is as crazy as it sounds. You may have seen something, but not the zombies you imagine. Oh, no. Not another one. Another what? Unexpected guest. My grandfather's a people collector. I don't know where he digs them up. Jonathan, come in here. I want you to meet someone. OK, Grandpa. Come on, keep me company. Jonathan, this is Mr. Randall. He's a newspaper reporter, and he's stranded here, so I figured we could help him out. Mr. Randall, this is my grandson, Jonathan, and his friend, Michelle. Uh, could you excuse us, Grandpa? We have some work to finish. Oh, no, not tonight, you don't. As soon as we're finished eating, we're going to drive Michelle home, and we're all going to get some rest. After a good night's sleep, Mr. Randall, I think it might be wise for you to leave town tomorrow. Go home, Shelley. If there was anything you could do, it would be different. Hmm. You're not worried about this guy, are you? Oh, I don't know. He just seemed hounded by something. He didn't say anything, but you could feel it. I just can't.
can't help but wonder what kind of bizarre situation this guy's got himself into. Well, he's going to be hounded by us for a while now. Interesting point of law, though. The victim's been dead for over two years. The law covers it. Yeah. Well, that's something. Get on it. Right. What? They found the car this guy was renting. Abandoned on the road to Hollis. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Shelly. You're officially off to the force now. Go home. Go to bed. Let me know what happens, okay? Morgan, are you all right? Where are you? Never mind about that now. I just called to let you know I was okay. Look, the police are out looking for you. Where are you? I'm not sure. I, I took the main road west out of town. I want to talk to you. It'll have to wait. Just take care of yourself, okay? The hell it'll wait. I appreciate you coming out here to track me down, but you're asking for trouble. Well, I may be asking for it, but you've already got it. There was a dead body outside your room, and now the police are looking for you. What's going on? The police aren't the only ones that are looking for me. That visitor didn't get there by accident. Is somebody else chasing you? Why? I don't know. Who are you, really? News writer from Fairfield. I was working on this story when I got involved with these things. I know it sounds crazy, but I think somebody's found a way to bring dead bodies back to life. Why, I don't know. You expect me to believe that? Believe it. I've seen it. You're really serious, aren't you? What are you going to do about it? Try and keep a low profile for the time being. That makes sense. Do you have any proof? That's it. Nothing. Wait a minute. I found this the night it all started. I've had it in my pocket ever since. Any ideas? RCI? It looks like a piece of a uniform or... Work clothes? Maybe from some kind of a factory or a institution? 
Yeah, I, I don't know what it means. Any idea who would know? Maybe one of the teachers at the high school or the college? No. The Historical Society keeps all its records at the Wilson Street Library. Try there. No, you get spotted. It'd be worth the chance. Okay, let's go. Uh, no, you go home and keep your nose out of all this. That chance, I'm already involved. You better hope not. Go home, I'll call you. Father and Randall talk some more. So? Well, this Randall's no loony, and my grandfather takes him very seriously. About what? About being attacked by zombies. Zombies? You're not making this up? Uh uh. I saw a special on TV about them once. They have them in Haiti. The undead. Here we have them in the movies. There they have them for real. Wow. And you actually think that we have them too? Could be. What can we do about it? Nobody will believe this. I don't know, but we've got to try and help this Randall. 
Well, expert, you saw the show. Where are zombies kept? <laughs> well, during the day they're in their graves, but at night they come out when nobody's around. You know, they work in the fields. So you think they may be buried somewhere near here now? It might be. Something suspicious. See, over there, that grave's freshly dug. So what? Somebody was just buried. That may be evidence. Let's come back tonight and we'll see if it's just a normal grave. You afraid? Not if you finish your laser gun first. Okay, come back and help me. I just have some adjustments to make and then connect the battery pack. Anything I can do to help you? I'm looking for some information on local history. Oh, you must be another one of those colonial history buffs. I'm sorry, but I haven't come here to study the colonial period. Okay, we have a card file. And you can look up whatever it is you are interested in. Uh, you're not from around here. No, I'm from out of town. Oh, you're studying at the college? No, I'm working on a news article. Well, you're not one of those who come here to dredge up our past. No, ma'am. I haven't come here to write anything uncomplimentary. I'd just like to know what the initials RCI mean. Well, what do you want to know about that for? The whole thing's forgotten by now. Well, if it's all forgotten, there's no harm in you talking about it. I grew up here. I used to see the RCI trucks going out there all the time. And exactly where was there? By the prison, of course. Can you tell me something about it? Yes. They called it the Rockmore Correctional Institute. Some of the young couples would go up to the top of Lookout Hill and watch all the lights on the island grow dim while a man was being put to death in the electric chair. I watched once, made me sick. I guess it would. A lot of people were against the prison and what it stood for. And then there were the bells. The bells? Early in the morning, the jailers would ring those horrible bells to wake the prisoners for some awful reason. There are some people who insist they still hear them ring and the prison's been closed for 40 years. What's become of the property? Oh, nobody goes near Rockmore Island anymore. Not safe. Town council wanted to build a children's park there. But too many parents objected, especially after the scandal that closed Rockmore. Scandal? Yeah. The head doctor at the prison used to perform some terrible experiments on the prisoners, even on those who'd been executed. Families could never claim the bodies. That's what started the investigation. And what happened to the doctor? After a while, they just stopped looking for him. Hmm. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Helpful? Well, just don't come again. Once is enough.
anyone catches us here, and you've got this gun... Stop worrying. We've got more important things to think about. I don't think anyone's here. Let's go home and forget about it. This Randall was probably drunk, and your grandfather was only being nice to him. Huh. Yeah, that's possible, but what if the story's true? Who else is going to do anything about it? Look over there in the distance. See that light? Randall's not crazy. Look at that! Here he comes! Let's go! Wait, let's try the gun. Come on! What are you waiting for? It doesn't work. Let's go! Of all the unmitigated stupid things, the two of you could have been arrested at the cemetery. Or worse, much worse. These are dangerous people. We'd better contact the authorities now before anything else happens. I guess you're right, but we were just trying to help. Help? You've been spending too much time with your experiments. You've got to forget these fantasies and get out in the real world. Real world? Is that what you call it, with all these creeps running around? Well, I guess you've got me there, but this whole situation is pretty unnerving. Doctor, I don't know if Jonathan told you, but his laser ray really works. Did something else happen? Hello. It's Mr. Randall. It's the old abandoned prison on Rockmore Island. We're going to have to do something. Well, I think we'd better call in the police. You can't try to do anything by yourself. You could be walking to your death. But they may have Shelley out there somewhere. Whether you come with me or not, I'm going out there. That may be nuts, but we can't let him go out to Rock Moor Island alone. I tell you what, I've got my old target bow, and I'd like to get a better look at your laser guns. Accident Security West. Oh, hello, Doc. But just ask, you know I owe you more than one favor. Uh huh. Rockmore? His name's Randall? Uh-huh. I wouldn't ask for your help unless it was important. Come armed and be careful.
you encounter any of these creatures, always know that you can outrun them. Now, I'm going off in this direction. If you get into any trouble, just yell. Okay, be careful. Oh, I will. Come on, Michelle, and make every shot count. I don't know how much power these battery packs have. Kapek, the coroner, he's behind all this. I can't believe it. Believe more than that. We got in here, but getting out is something else. Precisely right. Getting out is something else. Shelley, why did you have to stick your nose into this? It's none of your business. What do you mean, it's none of my business? People are being killed. Doesn't that bother you, doctor? A little bit. But I've been attending the dead for so many years. Let's just say I'm reclaiming lives. And just who's your little pal here, huh? Oh, he's just a young man I helped. He's become very dependent on my particular medical skills. Oh, what a cozy arrangement. Yeah, he supplies them, you revive them. Oh, something like that. So you went from prison doctor to coroner in one easy step. Not so easy. There are always those curious ones who have to play investigative reporter. Professor Kanan from the college, young Lieutenant Michaels from our own police department, and dear old Mr. Barrett. But they never had a chance to talk about their discovery. You see, they're all out here now. That strange guy's got a gun. Maybe I could save them. Here goes nothing. Well, we're up here. What now? We gotta find a way off this roof. Fast!
try one of those. My colleague here has a lot of explaining to do. I hope what you have to say is as interesting as the lectures you used to give at the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> 